All right, today we're gonna to learn how to paint this painting in a style called Dazzling Drip. All right, the question of the day is, who is Ed Suarez? All right, let's run through the colors. Quinn magenta, Quinn crimson, pearly red, primary yellow, cad yellow, Van Dyke brown, red oxide, Quinn blue, turquoise phthalo, interference blue, titanium white, Mars black. Let's get the party started. All right, today we're gonna do a, a painting in a style I call Dazzling Drips. <laughs> that first layer in we have some of the browns in this layer a little bit of brown coming in through here we have the yellow that's kind of survived um, we have a lot of the white um, gesso that's kind of spread around which was the intent to kind of give that lighter undertone painting um, I think what we're gonna do now is use contrasting colors we're gonna add in kind of dark uh, purple to blues and light blue uh, in the middle and kind of contrast it up and then see where we go in the next layer <laughs> that kind of um, purples in here kind of dripping through we didn't get much effect in the middle here we have blue up here but now blue here it's kind of washed out um, so we might need to address that again we have kind of the green interacting with the yellow and the white in the middle here so what we're gonna do is bring back in those reds um, I'm not sure what exact reds we're gonna use we're gonna bring in the reds and brighten this up and then see what happens in the next layer <laughs> So Ed Suarez is not really his real name, but um, it's a nickname he kind of picked up when he got into the art world. And this guy was basically a van driver, kind of doing parcel deliveries in the UK. And he was doing kind of martial arts on the side, teaching. So he's teaching and doing this van driver and he's kind of getting sick of driving. And then one night, um, his people he taught at the martial arts school, these women, they suggested, hey, let's do painting. And he's like, all right, let's try painting. And he's like, oh, I love this, right? And so he really jumped in at 35 into painting. He just kept working at a painting, uh, bartending. So he'd work almost till 1 a.m. every night because he'd have like seven, eight hours of your normal job plus painting on the side. And then it, he got into uh, programming a little bit on websites. And so that, at that point he realized, hey, I could do my own website, set up his own website to start selling art and you know, fast forward to today, he has a lot of YouTube videos, a really good website if you check it out. A lot of great abstract art that's really kind of in your face like BAM. Uh, it doesn't follow a lot of traditional techniques because he's all self-taught basically. So that's, you know, good and bad. It's good in the sense that um, he's not limited. I find a lot of people that go academically, you learn a lot of technique, but then sometimes they put you in this little box and it takes years to kind of break out of those boxes of it has to be traditional, it has to be the portrait, it has to be a landscape, and they don't teach you really how to do good abstract. Um, I think you can learn abstract on your own versus doing the portrait, so I don't think the academic teaching is wrong per se, but it kind of puts you in a box and it really takes a long time to break out of that. And you see that a lot with um, BFAs or MFAs where they're kind of like trapped in that realist school or whatever they were taught and then it takes a while to kind of establish their own style and say forget all that stuff I learned at school let me just do my own thing and so Suarez isn't trapped by that but he learned by a lot of trial and error so um, you know that has its own challenges in the sense that if you don't paint with a group you don't learn as fast per se um, 
Now I would recommend more a co-op setting versus a school setting per se. I think the schools are pretty good, but the co-op you learn faster because you have different styles of techniques of artists already established, doing their own thing, their own techniques, debating what's the best technique. And you don't really debate in school, you just say, yes, master, I paint like this. <laughs> Not that um, art teachers in school are bad, but um, you don't always learn the most from them. Um, I did quite well at some of my BFA, but you know, that's another story I would say. I'd say it's kind of pro and con. So he's self-taught, uh, really good uh, YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. He's got a lot of really good instructional videos as well as I think he's doing a new kind of helping artists out uh, technique. So it's a really cool video series he's doing, which is a good thing to do during the downtime of coronavirus. We're all painting, but there's not much else to do. So, you know, doing artist videos to help out I think is a really good thing. And that's Ed Suarez. All right, we just finished. Let's take a closer look. All right, so we got this uh, really nice dark purple at the top. Um, it transitions into that kind of red oxide with a little bit of drip going on, not much. I just wanted to have a little bit of the feel of the flavor coming through. You got the lime green kind of middle with a little bit of orange kind of peeking through there from the under layers. Um, then back down to that red oxide with a little bit of um, drips going through that. And then back into a nice purple. It is kind of hard to see with this light for some reason. I don't know, my camera is not um, adjusting well. I'll probably have to switch out the battery. <laughs> Those things happen and your battery is dead, right? You just can't drive the engines. But yeah, it has a really nice transitions, purple to red to yellow. I'm not sure if those colors really go together. I mean, I probably should have done an all blue kind of thing with purple to light blue. It kind of makes more sense. Um, so it is a little bit of a challenge between that green to red to yellow to orange. I mean, it is kind of transitioning, just really kind of really bold. Um, I mean, I overall like it. I think it's a cool painting. I'm kind of coming up with a really devious name for it. So you'll see uh, later down the road. Um, but we'll see if I stick with that name or come up with a nice happy name. Um, but hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and check out my Patreon account for the full version. And I'll see you in the next painting video.